Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, February 12th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. There are some things in life that don't qualify as breaking news because they've been a foregone conclusion for so long that when the word finally comes down, it's, well, anticlimactic. But that doesn't make the news of Flex Lewis's special Olympia invite any less cool. In case you haven't heard, late last week, the seven-time 212 Olympia champ was granted a special invite to compete in the Open Mr. Olympia contest later this year, which is already shaping up to be huge. This is one of those stories that feels like it'll start to pick up steam the closer we get to the show. But for now, it means Flex is officially on the clock with T minus seven months and counting. There's been a lot of talk recently around NFL circles lately about whether or not the Cowboys should put their franchise tag on Dak Prescott. But to be honest, if I were Jerry Jones, I think I'd probably be more comfortable throwing a few dollars at a guy like Sergio Oliva Jr. than giving Dak a max long-term deal. Sergio's been absolutely on fire over the last few weeks, and I've had people close to me say that this is the best they've ever seen him. He's on a short list of athletes who have a lot to gain with a big showing at the Arnold next month. So if he goes out and does his thing, it might be time for someone to back up the Brinks truck. For the most part, it feels like people are looking at the Arnold men's physique title as a two-horse race between defending champ Andre Ferguson and former champ Brandon Hendrickson. So let me throw another name into the mix, Carlos de Oliveira. Here's a guy who won two shows last year, finished top six at the Olympia, and there's absolutely no one talking about him. By the numbers, he's one of the highest ranked athletes in the entire lineup, which means we should be looking at him as a top three threat based on that alone. Carlos is arguably one of the most underrated guys in the division, but these are exactly the moments that Carlos can set the stage as his big coming out party. Hopefully you guys have been watching the news and keeping track of the coronavirus outbreak because this week the WHO reported that corona is now officially more deadly than the SARS outbreak back in 2002. But depending on who you ask, Taryn Garlington has a chance to be just as dangerous as corona to the rest of the lineup at the Figure International next month. Even though she hasn't been talked about so much as far, Taryn did finish top seven at the Olympia last year, and she was a solid top three at the Arnold Australia. All things considered, she was probably one of the most improved athletes in the division last season. So if she picks back up where she left off, a top three finish in Columbus feels like it could be a real possibility. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.